Hey, yo, what up, what up? It's your boy, Pots, y'all. We already know it's a lot of hustling going on on our New York City trains, but let me bring you back to some of the vintage hustlers. Who remembers the note guard, the dude that walks around and put a note right next to everybody in the train as if, when I come back, you better have some breath for me. And as soon as he come back to get his little note, everybody be like, good. Good boy, baby. And who remember the Congo players? You be sitting there, as soon as you see some niggas come through with some fold-up chairs, you be like, oh, God, here we go. The niggas sit it down, as soon as the door closed, boot, boot, start going in, start going in. And we be sitting there, act like we want to sleep, but then sometimes we be like, the beat is lit, nigga, and you sleep, and you be like, okay, okay, I might just give him a dollar or two. Nah, I'm good, I'm going to sleep. Who remembers the food for the hungry dude? The doors closed in the train, boom, boom, this is food for the hungry. Anybody want a sandwich? The sandwich got your fingerprints all in it on some plastic bag. We don't want that sandwich, dog. If you want to feed the food for the hungry, there is mad homeless people. Why are you on the train with your little badge talking about you need a couple of... We ain't got no money for you, bro. You eat the sandwich yourself. I'm going to sleep. Oh, yeah. And them kids you see selling candy on the train? Let me bring you back to how it started. Remember they used to pull up talking about, oh, we need some money for a basketball team and we selling candy? Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Then after a while, they started saying new shit and it was all reading off the same script until at one point it was just like, yo, fuck it. We're just trying to get some money to stay out of trouble. What's good? <laughs> just a quick reminder of all the old hustlers that we had on our train system back in the day. That's it.